Good morning, welcome to Fraser and Friends. I've got a rather unusual friend with me today who I've just run into on the farm where I'm at in Dorset. Um, I quite like being on the farm, I've not been on a farm for years, so I think we might forgo the painting today and just sort of do a bit of farm work. I might get stuck in, meet a few more friends maybe, um, and have a good look round. Um, and I think there's someone here who might be able to show me around. Marilyn, hello, nice to Hi. see you. Hi, <laughs> Never work with artists or animals. <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> Nothing personal, it was you that scared her. Anyway, great to meet you. Perhaps um, um, perhaps we can take a look around the farm. Yeah, and, let's, um, let's go and have a look. There's plenty of animals to see here yeah, today. Great. So I can't we're wait. going to see what we can find. Yeah, brilliant. So, Marilyn, I, we're going to try and feed these chickens, is that right? Yes, should I show you how to? <laughs> well, yeah, feel free. Yeah, if you grab a handful, and we'll just sprinkle that down. Come on. Come on, guys. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Come on. They don't seem very hungry to me, or maybe they're just scared of me. I think they're scared. They're scared of me. <laughs> they're scared of you. <laughs> Come on, guys. Food. They're not going to bite, are they? You might have to get in there with them. I don't know about that. <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'd sort of draw the line at climbing into bushes to feed the chickens. Well, the chickens obviously didn't want to come out to play. Is there anywhere else we could go and uh, yeah, perhaps maybe feed some we more should animals? try some ducks. Perhaps you'll have a little bit more joy yeah, the with the ducks. Them, <laughs> yeah, yeah, they love you. Are you okay that Sean didn't get bitten by the dog there? I'm fine. <laughs> Good. Who's this guy then? Is this the it's another farm Local dog. Local farm dog. Yep. Yeah. Hello. Hello. We often hello. pop into the studio to say hello. Yeah. How are you doing? You have a painted one? Any other farm, I farm have dogs? done as part of compositions with um, some of the horses and the children riding the horses here. Yeah. With the dog trailing behind. Oh. It's just really natural and lovely, but not so much a pet portrait. Yeah. So. Well, docile little thing, aren't you? More docile than the chicken. Do you feel much safer now, Fraser? Oh, well, yeah, definitely. I think the fence is a, a good thing. It's you security, they're, they're, isn't they're it? They're running from us. Is this normal, you know? It's the second lot of animals that's hidden from you. <laughs> they know I'm an artist, they're scared. <laughs> so, Marilyn, why, why the farm then? Why are we here today? Uh, it's purely accidental, but yeah. it's one of those things in life that's been an absolute blessing. Um, I needed to have storage space um, sure. for the canvases and the books. Um, and we were looking for storage space, but as we were driving around, we got lost. And yeah. we saw this notice that said, studio for rent. <laughs> and so we drove in and I knew immediately that this is where I wanted to be working. Yeah. Uh, it's ideal. It, and, it's... and this is now where your studio is based and where you hold workshops yes, and yep. people come here. Yep, the whole um, package, all on a, an interesting farm. <laughs> yeah, well, I've enjoyed seeing it so far. And I guess it's nice for you to have the sort of inspiration of things going on around you and farm life and there's all, animals there's to paint so and much inspiration and the cows i think are the most amazing things to paint yes and um, often i'm running workshops and you can hear them mooing in the studio <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it's dying a, out to be painted yeah it adds to the atmosphere yeah oh that's great and so how long have you been painting then i mean i i, I kind of i know your work i've seen your work before what sort of made you start? Has it been something you've done your whole life? Um, no, um, when I was at school, I loved painting, yeah. but we were always encouraged to do something academic. Yeah, and so I ended up being a superintendent registrar, which is completely different I'm to what I'm doing. I know what that involves. But <laughs> uh, yeah. Marrying people. Okay. All and right. registering births and deaths initially and then marriages. Um, but when 17 years ago, my daughter entered me for a competition with the SAA. And um, she was convinced that I would win. And yeah. she took her money out of her building society. And she said, no, I really want you to have this. And I thought, oh no, she's going to be so disappointed. And it was a Mother's Day present. Yes. And um, one of the paintings won, Artist of the Year. And that's really how everything started. What a great start. So that yeah. gave you the confidence. So you yeah. must have been painting then while you were I, working as a registrar then. I've been painting about 18 months, so it yeah. was all really, really new. I'm still employed, but I've not conducted a marriage now in about eight years. And so are you still <laughs> licensed? If, if, you, if I ever need to get married, I could yeah, uh, in give theory, you a call. In theory. <laughs> <laughs> 
but this has just taken over. Um, yeah. It's more than full time and yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely. But it was nice to do it gradually rather than sort of give up one job to do something else. It, yeah. it sort of evolved, yeah, sure. which is really, really good. So these guys are the famous cows then that you've been painting. They are, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, amazing, it's so nice. Wonderful subject matter, when they stay still, I bet. Yeah, there's, they do like to keep moving around. So what do you do then? Just come here and take photos or make drawings to, to sort uh, of uh, capture them in motion? I take mostly photographs because I like the action and the movement. Yeah. And um, so, strangely enough, by taking photographs, you can capture that a lot easier yeah. than trying to stand here painting or drawing them when they keep moving around bet, all the yeah. time. I mean, my favourite subject is musicians. And what I'll do is take quite a few photographs and then pick the best um, sort of compositions. Mm. Um, you need to take them at one in one place so the shadows are consistent. Yeah, yeah. It's better, I find, not to mess around too much, but things like musicians, you might find somebody sort of just stood there not doing anything, uh, and it, that doesn't look good on the painting. You need, you need the, so, thing, so, you need the action, and a nice soundtrack as well if you're yeah, photographing musicians, yep, it's always good. Yeah, I find um, the foreign countries are quite inspirational, the sunshine yeah. is really good, but then you apply that to Britain, so I think you have those memories, mm. and um, you think, yeah, I can be a bit brave or a bit stronger with these colours. So if you, you so, go abroad and you're in a, a sort of tropical place and it's all bright colours and stuff, you bring that memory back and then you can apply yeah, that to... Yeah, because uh, the photographs like of Barbados, um, in Barbados, we photographed a lot of the market in Bridgetown. Yeah. And when you have the photographs, it's very hot and very sunny, but they're bleached out, so there's yeah. no colour. So you've so got to bring back why aren't that. we in Barbados today? I don't Because we gave you the option of choosing <laughs> the location here. Damn. So, you know, we, we could have gone anywhere in the world, you know, first class. Next time. We've missed the trick there. <laughs> yeah. but these cows yeah. are lovely. I think they'll they'll do their job. And I'm guessing it, it, these might be our subject for the day. As, as they are. Here. Yes, yeah. they are. I think they're just so beautiful. We couldn't not paint them. Okay. Well, I guess we'd better uh, go and get some kit and uh, come out and, and have a go. Yes. Yeah. We must. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's go. Right, so we've got sketchbooks and we're, yep, we're, come we're and ready have to a, go. A, a look at what's going on then and try and uh, get something pinned down, shall we? Yep. So, I mean, I guess the difficult thing is when you're working with animals or anything that moves around a lot, humans as well, is, is trying to capture them b before they've cleared off and that's, that's right. getting they're, the basics they're... down. So, I mean, really, they're just eating and moving and not doing very yeah. much else at the moment. So um, you'd sort of just start with a quick sketch, would you just try to get the, the position of the cows in? and Just get a little bit of the position. Um, if they're moving too much, then I'll take a few photographs and then sort that out in the studio. Yeah, so, of course. Um, just see which works the best. It's surprising how much they're moving, even when they're eating, isn't it? It's... Well, their tails are wagging around <laughs> constantly. You've got to sort of be quick to capture that, haven't you? So if, in a scene like this then, would you try and sort of focus on one particular animal or are you looking for a group? How do you sort of compose? Yeah, I mean, I quite like, like groups and I like natural compositions. So I try and get a little bit of movement. If the farmer's moving the cows, that's ideal. Yeah. Um, you get quite a lot of, they're big and beefy, quite a lot of movement. I think I'm going to have a more zoomed out scene and, and try and sort of capture a few of the cows in this field. So I'm just doing a, sort of yeah. a quick little sketch to mark in. Yeah, that, positions, um, but I might take a few quick snaps as well. Well, Fraser, I don't know about you, but I'm finding it quite difficult. They're moving around and they just won't stay in the same place. How do you fancy going back to the studio and we'll finish the paintings there? That's a good idea. So, so what should we do? Take some, take some photos yeah. as well, just as, as backup? And... Yeah, we'll take a few photographs and we'll go back to the comfort of the studio. Okay, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> yeah, let's take go a little bit quietly in case they them. run away. <laughs> And then I'll just grab one more close up here, just so I've got a few options. Oh, that's nice. This guy's back. Okay, I think that's about me done. Shall we, uh, shall we head back and uh, get set up in the yep. nice warm studio? Okay, so uh, what's going on here then? Oh, uh, fantastic. They're moving the cows. This is just the sort of shot that's brilliant for painting. Yeah, great action shot. Yeah, so I guess yeah, when it, whenever this is happening, you're I'm popping here. out with your I camera trying to, trying to capture yeah. it. 
There's a fair few of them. Is it? Is it lunchtime or something? <laughs> Trying to get them all herded in in time for. Are you feeling hungry? Yeah, it must be brilliant for you to be able to see things like that happening around yes. you on the farm and be able to capture it. It's um, the moments that you take don't normally get. And then yeah. and, and make something of it. So, oh, the studio. Yes. Nice and warm in here. Oh, God, I would yes. like a warm studio. Yeah. Great. Oh, this looks like a fantastic space. It's lovely and light and, um, yeah, I think you'll find this a lot more comfortable now you've okay. got those faces. <laughs> Great, so let's have a little snoop around in here then. I can see already the uh, yeah. infamous chickens oh, from yes. before. Yes. So they, were, were they painted on the farm? Um, that was painted a few years ago and it was where I used to live and there were chickens on a farm there. So the chickens <laughs> go with you wherever you go. To, yeah. <laughs> Surrounded. These amazing colours as well. And There's it's great. so much colour right there. And the musicians as well. My favourite subject. Great sort of busy, like you say, that energy and movement mm. that people have and action has. This looks nice, this street scene down here, is this, is this, this is, abroad? No, this is local, this is in Weymouth. Is it really? So, oh, um, it's got that kind of Mediterranean feel as well. I, I suppose the Union Jack's a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> um, oh, and mountain. that's quite local to you? That, that's local, it's about 20 minutes away, so we can pop over there later and Yeah, that might be nice, look. yeah, I'd like, like to see where that is, and then I'll get an idea of how you turn a, a mm. grey day in Weymouth yeah. into a... <laughs> A Mediterranean-looking street scene. Brilliant. Yeah, great. Yeah, fantastic. So we're all set up. We're gonna we're gonna set to work in here then, if that if that works for you. Yes. That's, and that's what you'd normally do. Come yes. back in with all your yes. gear. Yes. Yeah. It's much easier to sort started. it out like this. Yeah. So. Super. And conveniently, it's all spread out. This is what we like. And I've got my photo from earlier ready to roll and I'm going to work from that and, and I have the same I've got one of the cows being mooed which I think is just brilliant to use to paint great I, I'd better catch up by doing a drawing I think mm. I'm going to quickly sketch out my composition um, and then I'll, I'll come and have a look at you when you start to put the, the colour on and, and see where we see where we go from there So I see you put a sort of tonal wash down on the paper there. What's the sort of thinking behind that? Well, I want to keep it really simple because I want to focus on the cows, the movement, um, their, their muscles as they're walking towards me. I can feel sitting here just like I did when I took the photograph that they're coming towards me. Yeah. And if I were to put in the fence and all these little bits and pieces, it would be quite yeah, distracting. A bit too bogged down yeah. into background detail, yeah. And in terms of um, naturalistic sort of colours, how, how far are you going to push this one? Do you, do you know before you go, oh, I want yeah. this to be really bright? Or I've, I've gone with a yellow rather than the traditional greens. Yeah. And I want to use some mauves and some blues, some reds. Um, the photograph of the cows, that it's grey, and that would be quite a boring painting. So I really want to get quite a lot of colour into that okay. and um, have some fun with it. So, privileged to be here in your studio today painting. Is it a, a well-managed studio? Do you sort of keep it neat and tidy or are you just sort of spread out as and when you need to and have bits and pieces everywhere? Um, I spread out. I'm quite messy when I'm oh, working. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a workplace. But if we have an exhibition here or something, then it has to have a makeover. Um, you give it a tidy. Then, it has a do. big tidy up then. So the price tag's on. Yep. That's the, the yep. Main, the Looks lovely for people coming them. in. So you're cracking on, actually, Marilyn. I think I'm going to have to uh, catch up a bit here. Um, but I just need to sort of wait for a bit of my sky to dry, so it might be a chance to just take a, a quick break. So join us after the break, and I'll uh, try and get my sky rounded up and, and catch up with uh, Speedy Pants over here, and then we'll uh, get these paintings finished and head over to Weymouth. Is that right? That's brilliant, yeah. yes. Have a look at yeah. where you do these street yeah. scenes. So join us after the break. <laughs> 